this video deals with the second half of the poem the listeners which was written by walter de la ma before going to the poem let's recall the first half of the poem an unnamed figure the traveler knocks on the door of a house in the moonlight and asks if there is anyone inside the traveler's horse grazes in the quiet forest while the traveler wait for a response a bird flies out of a small tower on the house and over the traveler's head the traveler knocks again more forcefully and repeats his question no one comes on from the house to meet him however no one even leans out of the window the sill of which is covered in leaves to look at him he stands in place puzzled by the lack of an answer so now let's move on to the poem the listeners written by walter de la mer is there anybody there said the traveler knocking on the moonlit door and his horse in the silence shammed the grasses of the forest ferny flow and a bird flew up out of the turret above the traveler's head and he smote upon the door again a second time is there anybody there he said but no one descended to the traveler no head from the leaf fringe sill leaned over and looked into his gray eyes where he stood perplexed and still but when the host of panthan listeners that dwelt in the lone house then stood listening in the quiet of the moonlight to the voice from the world of men stood thronging the faint moonbeams on the dark stair that goes down to the empty hall hearkening in an as did and shaken by the lonely traveler's call so now let's see the explanation of the second part of the poem inside the house is a group of ghostly beings these listeners stands in the moonlight as they listen to the human voice coming from outside the ghostly beings crowd around the staircase onto which moonlight streaks as the quiet atmosphere in the empty house is disturbed by the sound of the traveler's lonely voice outside the traveler senses a strange presence in the silence that meets his question his horse undisturbed continues to graze in the dark forest the sky above full of stars are obscured by trees the traveler suddenly beats on the door once again even more loudly than before he then calls out asking whoever is listening to pass on a message that no one answered him when he came to the house but he kept his promise the listeners don't make any motion in response to this the traveler's word reverberate through the dark empty house coming from the only living person around the panther listeners hear him jump up onto his horse and then the sound of horse shoes on the stone path as the traveler rides away the silence of the forest quickly returns as the sound of the horse forcefully riding fades away so this is the explanation of the poem the listeners let's see glossary silence quiet dwelt lived faint dull still motionless hard words now let's see hard words with meaning and how to use them in sentence so the first one is turret turret a small tower that projects from the wall of a building so how you can use this in sentence a castle with fairy tale turrets so next one dwell live in have got better things to do than dwell on the past third one champ champ make a noisy biting so how you can use this word in sentence he was already on the plane champing to get off the lagos so next one is traveler traveler a person journeying from one place to another so i'll use this in sentence 
thousands of travelers were left stranded so the last one host the owner of a place who receives guest for example so how you use in sentence there were always gracious hosts at the numerous dinner parties they held for friends so these are the examples and meaning of the hard words so the follow up work is so you have to draw mind map of the poor the listeners thank you this video deals with the supplementary the red headed league which was written by so author ignatius conan doyle he was born 22nd may 1859 and died 7 july 1930 he was a british writer and medical doctor he created the character sherlock holmes in 1887 when he published a study in scarlet the first of four novels and more than 50 short stories about holmes and dr watson The Sherlock Holmes stories are generally considered milestones in the field of crime fiction. Doyle was a prolific writer. Other than Holmes stories, his works include fantasy and science fiction stories about Professor Challenger and humorous stories about the soldier Brigadier Gerard, as well as plays, romance, poetry, non-fiction and historical novels. One of Doyle's earliest short stories, J. Habakkuk Jepsen's Statement, 1884, helped to popularize the mystery of the Mary Celeste. He wrote more than 300 fictions, including 24 novels of all genres like history, fantasy, adventure, science fiction, crimes, drama, war, and more than 1,200 other works as essays, pamphlets, articles, letters to the press, poems, interviews plays on every subject such as politics spiritualism war crime etc see the characters sherlock holmes the famous detective dr watson a doctor and sherlock's friend jabez wilson a red-headed shopkeeper vincent spaudling wilson's assistant also known as sean clay duncan rose spaudling's accomplice a man with red hair Mr Jones a detective from Scotland yard so he is Sherlock's own the famous detective Dr Watson visits the apartment of his friend Sherlock Holmes he finds detective Holmes talking to a client with bright red hair Mr Jabez Wilson Holmes asks Dr Watson to hear the unusual story of the client Wilson says that he runs up a pawn shop One day in his shop, his assistant Vincent Spaudling showed an advertisement in the newspaper that announced an opening in the Red Aided League. The announcement promised a salary of four pounds a week. Spaudling urged Wilson to apply. The timid red hat pawnbroker did so. Wilson was accepted into the league by Mr. Duncan Ross, the red headed of the league. So here, Dr. John Watson. steps into the home of his friend the famous private detective sherlock holmes watson the story's narrator find holmes deep in conversation with jabez wilson a man who would be entirely unremarkable except for his blazing red hair holmes asks watson to stay and lend his assistance claiming that he has never heard a case as bizarre as jabez wilson Wilson reveals that he is a pawn broker and has an assistant named Vincent Spaudling who is working for half the usual salary to learn the business. Wilson says that Spaudling is a fine worker although he is interested in photography and often goes alone into the basement of the shop to develop photos. About 2 months ago Spaudling drew Wilson's attention to the advertisement in the paper for an opening in the league of red headed men according to spaudling the league is a foundation established by an eccentric and wealthy american to promote the interest of red headed men by paying them to perform small task so spaudling encouraged wilson to apply and the two went to the office 
After fighting through a crowd of red-headed men waiting outside, Spaulding and Wilson made their way to the manager, another red-headed man by the name of Duncan Ross, who promptly hired Wilson. He learned that the nominal duty is consistent only of his coming to the office from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. each day and copying out the Encyclopedia Britannica in longhand. This he did for eight weeks until one day he arrived at the office to find it closed with a notice on the door that the red-headed leak had been dissolved. He was so disturbed by the thought that someone had been playing a practical joke on him that he came to Holmes for a solution. Holmes promises to look into the case and Wilson leaves. Holmes and Dr. Watson move to Wilson's shop in Sex Corbuck Square off at once. The League paid Wilson to copy pages of Encyclopedia Britannica, forbidding him from leaving the office for any reason during his four hours shift. Wilson says that he worked for the League for eight weeks and was paid handsomely for his efforts. However, the story begins. Wilson arrived at the office to find that the red-headed league had been dissolved and that Duncan Ross was nowhere to be found. Wilson went immediately to Sherlock Holmes, hoping that Holmes could help him find out whether he had been the victim of a practical joke. Holmes asked questions about Vincent's powdling and discovers that Vincent came to work for Wilson only about a month before the whole mysterious affair began. Holmes tells Wilson that he will have an answer in a few days. After smoking three pipes in a row, Holmes leaps up and asks Watson to accompany him to a concert. Along the way, they stop in front of Wilson's shop, where Holmes thumbs his walking stick on the pavement and knocks on the door to ask Vincent for directions. After Vincent and Holmes finish talking, Holmes tells Watson that he believes that Spaulding is the fourth smartest man in the land. Scene 1 Holmes also tells Watson that he saw on the knees of Spaulding trousers exactly what he want to see. Even though Watson is mystified by the remarks, Holmes refused to explain them further and instead leads Watson around to a busy street behind Wilson's shop. Holmes noticed aloud that there's a bank behind Wilson's shop and finished for the day, he and Watson go to the concert. After the concert, Holmes asks Watson to meet him at his office at 10 o'clock that night saying that a serious crime is about to be committed. So this is the first scene of the story, the red-headed leak. So now let's see the glossary. Strong room, a room in a bank designed to protect valuable items against fire and theft. Crates, a wooden box used to transporting goods, systematic examination, investigation, systematic examination. Glossary, strong room, a room in a bank designed to protect valuable items against fire and theft. Crates, a wooden box used for transporting goods. Investigation, systematic examination. Tunnel, an artificial underground passage. Notorious, famous for some bad qualities. Cellar, lower ground floor or basement. Recognize, identified. Let's see hard words with meanings. Announcement, a statement that tells people about something. Promise, to say definitely that you will do or not do something. Encyclopedia, a set of books that gives information about many subjects which is arranged in the order of alphabet. Detective. A person, especially a police officer who tries to solve crimes. Client, somebody who receives a service from a professional person. So the follow-up work. 
sketch the characters of Sherlock Holmes and Jabez Wilson. Thank you.